Hi, folks. Mikey Bly here. And we are going to traverse the maze of opposites again. But this time, we have Iblis with us. I'm going to dive in. I'm going to quickly see if anything different is said. Nope. It looks like it's the same. So I just want to check that before I went in there. Because I don't want you having to put up with this nonsense again. So I'll do it solo because I'm such a great guy like that. And I'll do it on my own. But we will be back when we get to the door to Bond's lair. We got to go again, and this time he went, Mommy! Auntie! He's calling the kind of auntie. How cute is that? Hey, girl. What are you doing here? I know how much you hate the dark. Yeah, girl doesn't like the dark. But girl had to be strong for Mommy. Super strong. Super buff and not scared of the dark at all, even though I really am. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Uh, hey, girl. Do you know what's through this door? Well, Gerd knows that something very evil resides in there. But Gerd doesn't know the specifics. Gerd just, just don't know. Gerd just shrug emoji. All Gerd knew was that he couldn't let you take Mommy in there without saving your progress. Because if you let anything happen to Mommy, you better pray that you come out that door dead. Because if Gerd sees that you're even remotely alive, even just a little bit, even just like unconscious with a heartbeat. Go and pull your soul from the brink of death and torture your weak body until you are literally begging her for the worst death possible. Mm. But you don't have to worry about that because Gert trusts you. Yeah, there's um, nothing to worry about. Never seen this side of Gert before. You must really love Iblis. Okay. Are we ready? Ready for Bond take two? Oh, we made it. Barely. I don't ever want to go through that again. Tell me about it. You don't even want to know how many times I had you accidentally killed. The last time I did it. I saw my life flash before my eyes at least six times. That might be how many times I died the first time I did it. Mm. Well, I pooped in my dress at least three times. Akane, TMI, we've talked about this before. <laughs> You're so gross, Nana. <laughs> Maybe gross, but I'm telling the truth. I am sorry. Whew. Anyway, since this room is lit, I can put this candle out. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Now then, let's survey our surroundings. This place seems a bit off. Nana, where are we? This place gives me the creeps. Mm, I don't know, but considering it looks a little bit like you're there, I'd assume that surely there's only one real answer. Right? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Maybe we should look around and see what we can find. Okay. I'm right behind you. Cool, we get to explore this time. Whoa. Okay, I thought we were going to look into it. Hmm. It's another crystal. It's just like the crystal back in the place where you found me. I can see all the places I went. This is so crazy. How could I be so dense? This whole time, I thought I could trust Bond with my life. Well, you say this whole time. I mean, I mean, we, she, we, she, we, she was only with us for about like five minutes before she uh, died. So, I mean, you know. Uh-oh. Your mindless babbling is literally the worst. Like, really, do you ever just shut up? Like, do you ever stop putting like in the middle of your like sentences? On. Come, my sweet child. Mommy won't hurt you. You're not my mom. Don't you dare touch her. Don't sit there and act like you're innocent, you parent killer. No one's talking to you, brat. My business is with Iblis. Me, sweet baby, giving your mommy a hug. It is my business because you sabotaged my friendship and screwed with my head. And... As I already mentioned, you killed her parents and nearly 
destroyed her brain. I mean, there's a lot to answer for here, lady. Iblis was better off without you. You were holding her down. She didn't need you. I was all she needed. Did you ever care to ask what Ibby wanted? Bet you didn't, because you were too worried about yourself. How dare you talk to me like that? Enough! This squabbling has gone on for long enough. If you really want to know how I feel, then let me speak, damn it. That means you too, Akane. It really did seem like she was so pissed off that he wasn't getting a word in edgeways. So, sorry, Ibby. I got ahead of myself. It's okay, Nana. I know you're just protecting me, but I must deal with this wretch myself. I'm loving some of the old school terminology that's used in this game. Wretch and nink and poop and that kind of thing. R wretch? Darling, there's no need for name calling. Y you have it all wrong. Are you fucking kidding me? Tell me, Bon, what do I have wrong? I'll go down a list of things and you let me know if I'm overreacting, okay? You took away my only friend. You lied to me on a daily basis. You controlled me like a pawn. You had me try to kill Nana. And you, you killed my parents. Because you had some sick and twisted idea that I was going to run off with you. M Mistress Iblis, please, you must... Back to calling us Mistress Iblis, huh? What? Understand? What you did to my mother and father is unforgivable. But, but Iblis, darling, everything I've done has been for your own good. Your parents were getting in the way of our bond. I couldn't let them have you all to themselves. I know that sounds selfish, but could think of it from my perspective. They told me they were just going to take you on a vacation. But I knew what they were really doing. They knew we were inseparable, so they were trying to t take you away, just like, like, this mysterious hymn that we read about in her journal. What the? Are you sick? You took away the two people that mean the world to me, and you tell me it was for my own good? You son of a... Because that little son of a, not even bitch, you son of a bitch. Why are you so mad, sweetie? We were supposed to be together forever. We have so many memories together. We were happy. I kind of left you in shambles. And I was there to pick up the pieces. You should be thanking me. For opening your eyes to the truth. I love you so much that I even gave my own heart as a sacrifice. Don't you understand? That you're heartless? Yeah. That's what I took away from that little monologue. Shut up. Up! No more lies! Akana told me the truth. She left because you made her. You got into her head, made her say those awful things to me. Then you brainwashed her to forget me. I missed so many good memories. Because of you! All the memories I could have made with my friend were stripped away from me while I was rotting away in a therapy room because of what you did to me. You think you can't leaving me was bad? That doesn't come close to what I had to endure mentally. I thought I was going crazy. Every day I woke up and contemplated if I should just slip my throat and end it all. The only person to blame for like, life falling apart is you. Not a Kana, but you. You, 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 and only you. And we're finally here to put things vaguely right. I hate you with every part of my being. You made my life a living hell, just for your own gain. Own up to the fact that you're a crazy psychopath. Oh, Ibby. This isn't good. Did that brat break the spell? What do you think? Why can't my words get through to her? The gek was so close to consuming her mind. I must get her back on my side. Doesn't give up easily, does she, this one? Iblis. How could you let her fill your head with this crap? I was always there for you. I... Oh, stop it already. Nana is here for the real me. Not no brainwashed zombie you made me into. You make me sick. I just want you... I just want you to... I just want you out of my life. It shouldn't be a problem since you willingly gave your heart and soul to the Gek. You can go stay with them. 
In the darkest pit of hell. No. 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 Nana, use that spell you told me about. I want this witch to burn. You got it. I won't let you down. Okay. Need to make sure that I say the words correctly. Why don't you take a peek at the Kents here? Don't move on. Don't, don't go nowhere. I just need to make sure I read this spell correctly to banish you forever, okay? Don't, don't, don't go anywhere. Two seconds, okay? Two seconds. Nana, watch out. Huh? Oh, no. The Gek book. What the hell? You burned up the Gek book. Oops. Is that me? I do apologise. I can't believe you did that. Come now, Akana. Do you honestly think I was going to make this easy? Think again. Well, without the Kents yet, I won't be able to... Nana. Nana, snap out of it. Huh? Nana, I know things look bleak right now, but we need to focus. We can't let her win. It's true. After everything that we have done, after all of the hardships and all of the fighting and barely surviving, it can't be how it ends for us after all of this. So think, there has to be something else we can do. I mean, I could try reciting it by memory. I should have paid more attention to it before I skipped that text. Now things are getting interesting. There is no way you can recite it from memory. That's a complicated spell, Akana. Do you really want to risk it? I'll risk everything I have to get rid of you. I can't just sit here and do nothing after all that you've put Iblis through. Uh, Nana, are you sure you can do it? You're the one who said we had to do something. I'm doing something. I sort of have photographic memory, so I should be all right. Don't worry, okay? 100% convincing. Okay, Nana. You can do it. I can't wait to see you fail. Akane Amazane. Okay. Need to think really hard about this. Oh, no. Well, I should have really written the damn thing down. I think it's Debosa, not Dice. Right? Oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Well, it can't be Lao. Lao Loom. Uh. Funny de dam. It can't be funny de dam. Fun de damned. Uh, she's doing better than I thought. I need to find a way to trip her up. Per tumultum cerebri. Ow, what the? Why does my head feel so fuzzy? I forgot math. Nana, what's the matter? You don't look so good. My head. Bon. I know you have something to do with this. Oh, well, come on. I see we've got a real pair of detectives. I can't remember together and still don't make one brain. I have no clue what you're talking about. Akana, I need you to focus. Don't let her mess with your head. Okay, I'll try. My head is racing. I need to breathe and take my time. I can't afford to mess up now. Oh no! Don't think it's perfume. Perfume. Yoku. I think it's the second one. No. Maybe it's the first one. Uh. I don't know anymore. Oh, God. 
Huh? Agarel, Garel, Sinios. Bottom one? Oh, well. I missed two of them. I'm gonna have to write the whole damn thing down, aren't I? Well, what's going on? Did I say something wrong? Yes, immediately after the restart. Nana, why isn't anything happening? <laughs> ha! I'm a Kana and I have photographic memory. Not. I said I sort of had photographic memory, damn it. I knew you were a stupid little girl, but this takes the cake. This is not good at all. Uh, Nana, I mean, I know it didn't work, but we can't give up. Come on, give it another try. It, it be, you don't understand. I see you remember what happens when you say the Kedzia incorrectly. What is she talking about? If the Kentia is chanted incorrectly, your soul will be taken to the darkness and will suffer for all eternity. Gotta love those clauses. The small prince, glorious. What? No, that can't be true. Yes, it is true. I knew the risk, but I wanted to make sure that you were safe. By gambling your life? That's absurd. We could have thought of another way. Sorry, Abby. But there is no other way. Ugh. Are you done with this sappy soap opera bit? It's putting a bad taste in my mouth. And I mean, it's full of demons in here. But that still tastes worse. But don't matter. Akana's doom is about to begin. Ah! I Iblis! Run! I just can't leave you here. Uh, just run! Damn it! Okay, thank you, Akana. I, I don't want to leave her, but I don't have a choice. No problem, buddy. Where do you think you're going, dear? Oh, no. I can't do anything to save her. My whole body is going limp. My vision is all blurry. Get out of my way. Oh, my precious... I simply can't do that. You will be coming with me. <laughs> Crap. Maybe I failed you. I really tried my best. Well, look what we have here. A soul for me to take. How delightful. Bon has done great work. Such a beautiful face. All cold and lifeless. Yes. Now to take what is rightfully mine. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Now cough it up. Ah, there you are, my precious. You'll be coming with me. I'll put you with my collection. Think before you speak. Thanks for the advice. What the? Oh, no, no, no. This will not do. Minions, get her body out of my lair. Disgusting. No one ever stare at her face for any longer than I need to. It's clashing with the decor. Just completely unnecessary. Much better. Ooh. Okay. We'll get it right next time. Can we look at the other stuff before we uh, do anything else? Like the book? What's it doing in a place like this? Just know that this book should never have been brought to your house. Nice big throne. I guess. I guess the crystal's all we can look at then. All right, this time I'm going to I'm going to use my own photographic memory, otherwise known as um, pen and paper. 
got it. Got it this time. Oh. <gasps> There's no way that you managed to say that spell correctly. I was just waiting for you to mess up so I could see you die. Just face it, Bon. Your reign is over. No, no, no. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Still, uh, kind of. Who was the person who was being so mean to her in the journal? Did it work? She's not moving. That means... It, it worked! Oh my gosh, Ibby! It really worked! Come on, Ibby! Aren't you happy? N Nana... She's not... <laughs> How? How are you still standing? I thought you were... Dead? Ha! You actually thought that stupid ceremony would work on me? You forgot that I'm already dead, you imbecile! So stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Everything went to shit ever since you stepped in this house. Okay, don't pull any punches there. B bon? You poisoned my poor Iblis's mind and made her turn on me. You will pay for your ignorance. Bon, just shut up. I'm tired of your crap. I could have been complete with my darling Iblis, but you destroyed my dreams. So I will make sure you have to live through your worst nightmares. Bon, what whelp? Would you stop all your squawking and... Do a little turn around there. Do a little twirl for me. I just want to add my your uh, outfit. Turn around? For what? I would listen to her. N no! I'm not done yet! You can't take me! The agreement has been broken. You promised me a soul and you did not deliver. N no! Please! Just give me more time. There is nothing that you can say. The banishment ceremony is complete. You'll be coming with me. Please, Master, spare me. Nothing can save you now. Well, we did it. We did it. We got rid of Bon. Come on, Ibby, we got rid of that monster. You're free now. Oh, Ibby. Please don't cry. Even though I was so happy that Bon was finally defeated, I didn't take into account of how Ibby must have felt. Everything that she knew was gone. Her mother, her father, and the maid she trusted with her life. All she could do was cry in my arms. No words were spoken. Just the sound of her weeping. Police were called and the story of the Nakor household hit the news around the world. Nakor Crazy House, they called it. Half of the story was made up because I refused to relive the horrors I went through. It's not like they would have believed me anyway. The only thing that made me uneasy about everything is that the police didn't find Marie in the house. Did she flee the scene after Bond was defeated? I guess the world will never know. After everything died down, I didn't see or hear from Iblis for months. I was so worried about her, I was literally making myself crazy. She was going through so much pain and I couldn't stand by her side and help her. But one day, everything changed. News report. News report. On today's news, carnivorous bunnies were seen munching on pigeons at a nearby college campus. So if you go to school today, you had better be careful. You don't want a cute little bunny nibbling on your toes. Or maybe you do. I guess. Whatever floats your gourd. It's a very specific knock. Huh. 
I wonder who that could be. I wasn't expecting any guests today. What about our other friend, anyway? I haven't really seen much of her, except in the endings. The, the not-so-good endings. What? Gur? What are you doing here? Oh, wow. Gur was expecting a better reaction than that. All right, bring it in, you little green bugger. Ha! <laughs> Still as silly as ever. Come on in. This is such a surprise. Wait a minute. How did you find my apartment? Well, Gert tracked your scent and may have lost up a few people to spill the beans. But there's no need to get into that. Okay. Time to change the subject. The less I know about your little weirdnesses, the better, I think. What brings you here? Uh, did you miss me? Of course Gert missed you, Auntie. You know girl loves you. But girl really came here to bring you a special message from Mama. <gasps> Mama? Oh, y you mean Ibby? Wait, how is she doing? Where is she? Is she doing okay? Is she... Ah, you're asking Gert too many questions. Gert's head's about to explode. There's only so much information I can process at once, you know. No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I need to calm down. It's just been so long since I've seen or heard from her. I'm just worried about her. Especially after everything that happened. Gert totally understands. Gert doesn't really understand at all, but that's fine. So, you, you said you had a message for me? What? But you just said... Just kidding. Let me pull up the message for you. Oh. Nana, please meet me at our special place. You remember it. Don't you? I hope you can make it. I'll be waiting for you. She wants me to meet her at our special place? That's what she said. Literally, just played it for you. Hmm. Our special place. Well, while you figured that out, girl has another person to see. Oh, but you just got here. If you stay a little longer, I'll make you some chocolate muffins. Hmm. M muffins Must resist temptation. Uh, failing to resist temptation. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, well, short but sweet, I suppose. Oh, poo, he left. Just knew I could cook him with the muffins. Hmm, I need to think hard about it was his message. What did it mean? Our special... This. Wait! I know exactly where to go. I need to call a cab and get dressed. There's no time to lose. Well, there. Absolutely rocketing through the house. It's been so long since we were in this house, it was kind of nice to be back somewhere familiar and not deadly. Of course it was the park. I figured that out straight away, can't I? Come on. I hope this is the place that Ibby was talking about. Wow, we really got dolled up for the occasion, didn't we? Wow, it kind of looks stunning there. Hmm, I don't see her anywhere. Why well, should take a look around? If I can't find her here, then I won't have to rethink this and try somewhere different. Can we talk to everybody? It's such a refreshing day. Have a blessed day, my child. He's such a charming man. He always takes the time to make me feel special. I always make sure to take my wife here. This is where we met, after all. Oh my goodness, did you see the Jen and Sis interview? Can you believe that thing bit the host? I know, it was so horrible. I hope they caught that creature. What if he harmed someone else? Uh, tell me about it. Uh -uh. Hey there, picnic and couple. Do you mind if I just lurk and stalk? Um, I love you. I love you more. I love you most. Uh, I love you most times infinity. Okay, let's just go. Oh, that's not fair. You beat me. But I still love you. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just let them... <laughs> Get on with their lovey dubbiness. I'm so thirsty. Way to go. That's why you're drinking out the water fountain, I suppose. Rawr! I'm an elephant! My elephants don't say raw. They go woof. Wait, what was that? Another animal. 
might be another animal. The fountain is simply breathtaking. I could sit here all day. It is pretty nice, I've got to say. Could talk to some other peeps that are hiding around here. I'm just, I just want to make sure I don't miss anybody, you know. You. Whoever's in the bathroom must be blowing it up. Because they've been in there forever. Yeah, I'm about to pee on myself. Okay, we don't need to. Uh, I, I can hold it. I can hold it. Yeah, don't think about it. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. He's the best boy. Actually, my boy's the best boy. By far. I don't know he was all being lazy and snuggled up when we left the house, but he's the best boy. That hair. It looks like... M Mrs. Nakua. Is that you? Mrs. Nakua. Oh, Nana. Uh, it's you. I'm glad you made it safely. I see you've figured out my little riddle. Uh, Nana, are you okay? I'm sorry. It's just been so long since I've seen you. It's all so surreal. Yeah, I know what you mean. It has been a long time since we've seen each other. So with that being said, let's sit down and catch up. Wow. So did you get here okay? Yeah, the taxi ride wasn't so bad. I didn't notice that the park was so close to my apartment. But enough of the small talk. Can we talk about how much I'm digging your new look? I mean, you look completely different. I almost didn't recognise you. With that hair colour, you look so much like your mom. Wait, I didn't mean to... <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's really nothing special. To be honest, I had to do this. But what do you mean by that? I felt like I had to change my image. I wanted to feel like a new person, especially after what happened. It's like a fresh start, you know? I get you. I I'm with you. You can't go back to being completely normal and the same as you were before when you go through something as mad as that. I'm not going to lie. I had to reevaluate my life after everything died down. I wanted to run away from everything that happened, but it seemed like every time I tried, I would see the Nicole Crazy House story on the news. I felt like the gecko was still haunting me. Wow. Nicole Crazy House, huh? What a name. Is she still living there? She must have moved. But if she moved, where did she move to? I mean, I wouldn't want to stay in the same house that my parents died in. Really? She must be living somewhere else. Ibby, can I ask you something? Hmm? Is there a reason why you're not wearing your friendship charm? Oh, she's not wearing a friendship charm. I didn't even notice that. It's because, well, I felt like I didn't deserve it. What do you mean by that? It, it's not what you think. Look, for months I was having trouble coming to terms about what happened. Just thinking about everything I put you through. The feelings I had towards you. But that wasn't your fault. All those things you were feeling was because of morning in your head and... You know. That's not true. Nana, while it is true that Bond manipulated me, the rage and betrayal I felt came from me. I was so angry with you. I wanted you to pay for what you did to me. Yeah, but you thought I was going to stab you with an actual knife. I mean, it's still all born. You can't blame yourself for being upset at me for trying to kill you, okay? Because in your eyes, that's what you saw. Ibby, I'm so sorry. Everything happened because I was weak. If I was stronger, I could have fought against Bond's magic. And my parents would be... Stop talking. I'm not going to just sit here and let you take the blame. The only person to blame is Bon. Iblis, I can't blame you for how you felt. I mean, Bon made me swing a knife at you. If I was in your shoes, I would be just as mad. Thank you, Akane. Glad to see we're on the same page. But what's done is done. Bon killed your parents, not you. Please don't blame yourself. It's funny. It doesn't matter how much therapy I went through. All the psychiatric rehabilitation appointments I had. Nothing can fix what is broken. 
Every day is a struggle knowing that I can't talk to my mom and dad. What am I going to do? How am I going to make it through life without them? Well, for starters, you are me. What? No, I can't ask that of you. I called you here because I wanted to apologize for my behavior. Okay, well, apology accepted. Did you have friends before? Well, that's not going to cut it. What I did to you was unforgivable, Nana. I didn't come here because I was looking for an apology, B. I came here because I wanted my friend back. That would be the greatest apology of all. I was worried sick about you. I didn't know where you went. I had no way of contacting you. It tore me apart because I couldn't help you. Just know that I will always be here for you. I'll never abandon you again. You don't have to go through this alone. BFFs. Do, do you really mean that, Nana? Of course I mean it. I risked everything I had to come find you. And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. But please don't make me do it again. I... I don't know what to say. It's just so hard to accept your kind words. When I had to deal with everything at once, my reality shattered into little bits and I didn't know how to put them back together. I'll help you with that. I am great at jigsaw puzzles. I... I mean... I was trying to kill you, Akana. It breaks my heart to even say it. But... Stop. None of that matters to me because Bon was controlling you. Do we have to keep looping back around to this? We all have things we've done wrong. But that's behind us now. Because we know the truth. And we're here in this lovely park on this lovely day in our lovely clothes. Let's go have some fun. Let's party it up. Maybe I'll be here until you get sick of me. I'll never let anything happen to you. We can take things one a day at a time. I just want you to be happy. Iblis, do you know why I wear our friendship charm? Not really. I thought you would have gotten rid of it by now. The reason why I wear our friendship charm is because it reminds me of our fight against evil. If we didn't overcome Bon, we wouldn't be here. Our friendship would have perished, along with our actual mortal selves. But we made it. Our friendship made it. We can be proud of what we did. So please don't feel like you can't wear our charm. We can't be twinsies if you don't wear it. Well, when you put it like that, how could I refuse? Yay, she even had it with her. Oh, it's like she anticipated the whole thing. Our friendship charm. You had it this whole time? Good to see that Khan is just as surprised as I am about this. Uh, yeah, I had to see where your head was at. I mean, I didn't even know if you were going to come or if you were going to forgive me. I had so many scenarios in my head of everything going wrong. <laughs> After all these years, you're still a worrywart, you big goof. Yeah, I know. I'm a mess. Um, if I may ask, what happened with your parents? Did they get a proper burial? No, nah, we just left them in the coffins in the manch in the in the basement. We just left them there. <laughs> uh, yes, they did. I decided to just have a private ceremony. I just wanted to be alone with them. It was such a nice ceremony. I buried them in a place with a nice view. Well, that sounds very nice. I'm glad that you were able to have a homegoing service for them. Yeah, it made moving on a little easier. So, what's next in the life of Iblis? How many plans on what you want to do? Uh, yes and no. Since I'm done with my therapy, I've been kind of stuck on what I want to do next. I do want to find a place to live, though. My parents left me with a large sum of money, so I want to use it responsibly. I was thinking about buying a little house, but that may be too much for me. Then I'll join you. I was hoping she would say that. I'm sorry. I got overexcited. Say what? It's so weird. The Ling and I were just talking about how she was getting sick of her dorm and wanted to find a new place. We should all get a place together. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be awesome. Come on, Akana. The Ling wouldn't want to live with me. She probably didn't even consider me as a friend. Oh, really now? Then listen to this. When Aline called me that day, she was worried sick about you. She pushed me to get in contact with you. If it wasn't for her, I'd still be living my life without you in it. So what do you say? 
we'll all be together and we can take things one step at a time i don't know nana do you really think that's a good idea i mean link doesn't even really know what truly happened i don't want things to be awkward it's not like we're all going to sit around watching netflix and suddenly i'm just going to turn and say Hey, Ipris, remember that time those demons nearly took over your soul and mind and body and you nearly killed me several million times? Jeez, that was something. We should tell the Ling all about that. Keep them sealed. We know what happened. Nobody else needs to know what happened. It's all good. Don't worry about it. We survived it. I mean, why don't we just tell... Oh, okay, well, that's a completely different avenue than I was imagining. Tell her? Are you nuts? She'll think we're crazy. I mean, knowing the Ling, she might, but... I wouldn't underestimate her. She could tell when you're lying. And you never know. Everything might just work out. We can't knock it till we try it. Hmm. Then maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell her. Wow, we're very manipulative, aren't we? Hey! Whoa, Lilene, what are you doing? Get the hell away from me! Would you slow down, sexy lady? Girl needs to talk to you. Oh, well, I guess maybe it won't be so hard to convince her what really happened. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even know what the hell you are. Gur told you already. Gur is guiding your Rani Gazoo 2.154 and a half. And a half. Um, okay, Gur. Good. Liling? Huh? Akane? What are you doing here? <laughs> don't know. <sighs> Gur is getting tired of playing tag with you. Oh, crap. That thing caught up with me. Darn it, Gur is not a thing. Gur is guiding your... It's okay, Lilene. Gur belongs to me. Hold up. This chick knows my name. Come here, Gur. Thank you for finding Lilene for me. Wait. Mommy, Mommy. Wait. Gur was finding Lilene for... D -d oh. Hi, Mommy. Hmm. Hi, Gur. You did such a good job. After this, we can go get slushies. <gasps> Yay! Kana, what's going on? Who's that girl? Oh, I guess you wouldn't recognize her with the new hair. It's Iblis. I Iblis or Ibbles? Hi, Ibbles. How are you doing, Ibbles? Hi, Liling. Well, hot damn. Look at you. How have you been? I've been doing decently well. Apart from, you know the pit of horror that I crawled out from a few months ago. And I'm sorry if Gur startled you. I sent him out to bring you here. I see. Well, it's okay. He just scared the crap out of me. No big deal. He was taking a stroll through the forest trail and he jumped out of a tree and proceeded to chase after me. Gur, is that true? Uh, mm, sure is. He didn't tell Gur that she was such a sexy lady. Gur couldn't help himself. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do with you? Get you muted, that's what I'm going to do. What brings you guys here? Oh, it's like deja vu. What do you mean? Running into you guys here reminded me of when you introduced me to Iblis. Huh. Now that you mention it, you're right. So, uh, Iblis, was there something you wanted to talk to me about since you sent your... Um, girl for me? Yay, sexy lady finally got my name right. It's just too damn cute. Horny as hell, but cute as hell. Hush, you. Mm, yes, ma'am. But yes, Liling, I did want to speak with you. I just want to take the time to apologize to you. Apologize? For what? For this. Shing! Nobody steals my best friend! Rah! Plot twist. I know you were always trying to approach me at school, but I always fled. I... I was going through a lot at that time and apology accepted. This is just the greatest bunch of people ever. Could I just like, could I just hug the hall? I just want to hug them. I just, I just, and there's my camera going on wonky. Hey, wait, get back, get back here. There we go. Yeah, I just want to hug them all. But, but I didn't finish. It's all good. I'm just glad I can't, I was able to get a hold of you. Those rumors that I was hearing in school were getting quite ridiculous. Just want to make sure you're okay. I, I really appreciate you, Ling. Without you, none of this would have been possible. She's right, Ling. Your encouraging words definitely did the trick. Well, I'm just glad everything worked out. This is nice, you know. 
We all haven't hung out with each other since we were kids. Oh, since you're here, would you like to be roommates with Iblis and I? Roommates? You're trying to stuff us all in your apartment, are you? I mean, I know you crave attention and company, but it's just too much, especially with the dog involved. Oh, God, another dog. We're going to have Gert. And, oh, no. <laughs> no. I told Akana that I'm looking into buying a little house. Having roommates would definitely make things fun and exciting. Hell yeah, count me in. Oh, this is going to be awesome. How about we discuss the details over some lunch? Well, I'm up for that. I'm always up for food. Me too. Me three, as long as there's more fans and they're chocolate ones. Okay, let's go. You can hold Gur's hand, sexy lady. Go and make sure nothing happens to you. Oh, brother. Auntie, why are you laughing? Is there something wrong with holding sexy lady's soft, supple hands? Mm -hmm. Hey, Gur. <laughs> Man, oh, it was so nice to see the true ending. Oh, it was so good. Oh, it was so worth the effort. It really was. Oh. Man, I, I can't even. What the? Oh, carrying boxes, okay. Oh, does Ling have a cat? Oh, no, wait, is that the... That's... Oh, God, that Diblis' cat. I thought Pimp took him. Oh, this is the best. It's just so nice to have the true ending after going through all of the miserable endings, right? It's like, oh, God, this is awful. Oh, dear me, we died again. And then you get this ending, you're like... Oh, justification. Uh, uh, just closure. I, I'm pretty have a feeling that there's maybe not going to be as much closure as I hoped. Oh. Oh. What? Well, that's one of the things I've actually really massively appreciated about this game. Uh, one of the little sort of, those the little speech bubbles with the facial expressions and stuff. I love that. I love it when characters express themselves in that way with no text. Just just that. I love that. It was so well used during the game too. One of those little details that I ah, really liked. Is this the Little house, or is this... No, this was the mansion, isn't it? This was Iblis' house, right? Wait, what? That's not a little house, if that's the one they're buying. It's huge! It also looks very much like Iblis' house. But why did... I mean... When she said they left a, a sizable amount of money, I mean, selling the house too, surely would have given them more money. But who would want to live there, I guess? Sell the land. I guess. I don't know. Thank you for making it! Honestly. The, one of the most engaging and fun games that I've come across. I, it's, it was just so much to it. There's like so many different aspects and styles of gameplay and and uh -huh, of course there's a little bit more. I knew there was a little bit more. Um, I may have been in onto some information that uh, other people might not have been aware of. There. That should be enough for a vegetable stew. How's it going over there? Did you get everything you needed? Oh, check out the lovely dress that she's wearing. I'm sorry, I'm getting so freaking gushy. I've got the gush. I can't stop it. Oh, yes. This stew is going to taste amazing. I'm so excited. It's so good to see a smile on your face again. Oh, stop it. And you call me the sappy one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping the vegetables for the stew. I want to make sure that dinner is ready when Ling gets back from her hair appointment. Okay, sounds good. I'll be in to check on you after a while. Okay. Hmm.
Do do. I am in control. Lovely garden. Ibris dedicated this garden to her parents. She really inherited their green thumbs. Keeps them in a pocket. Sorry, that was in very bad taste. Alright then, so there's more. A little bit more, which I knew there was. Hey, girl! Well, hello! You? Oh, hey, girl. How are you doing on this fine day? Eh, I can't complain. My book is a big hit. I kinda gonna die is number one right now. Oh, really? You saw the death logs? Who, who published those? Oh, uh, girl also got to meet this cool guy. Oh man, what was his name again? Um, uh, he thought girl was annoying, but his commentary was simply brilliant and very entertaining. <gasps> they snuck me into it! <laughs> oh, oh, we did. Uh, I'm blushing. <laughs> That was so funny. Oh, I love you too, girl. As much as I may have griped about you now and again, you are an adorable sidekick, okay? Oh, that was so funny. It's, hmm, what's wrong? I kind of not happy for girl. Uh, about that book. Oh, that was more important thing. Never mind this Mikey Bly bloke. I don't care about him. Jeez, what, what, what's the deal with this book? Am I getting a cut here? I mean, I'm the subject matter after all. Don't you think it's messed up that your book is about me dying? No. Also, I don't understand why you use quotations around dying, because you really did die. All right, enough of that. Try to repress those memories that I shouldn't have because I'm blatantly alive. Um, I'll just talk to you later. Wait, wait, girl almost forgot. <laughs> what is it? Girl has a present for you. What's this present for? It's not my birthday or anything. Please don't tell me it's another Gurgismo gadget because I ain't taking it. Oh, don't get your panties in a twist. The, the only reason why Gur is giving this to you is because he is watching. And he killed you a lot. I'm sorry. Who's watching? Duh. This guy, of course. Who else would be watching? Anyway. Here you go. Oh, okay, card key. Um, thanks? You're quite welcome. And don't tell anyone I gave that to you, or I'll have to kill you. What did you just say? Okay, love you, bye. Mwah. I swear, girl is a trip. I wonder what's up with that card. Looks like a room key. But to where? What? Hey, what? Thought she was going to warp into my basement for a second. What in the world? Where the heck am I? Uh, what kind of mess did I get myself into now? That's what I get for taking that gift from Gur. Little troublemaker. Hmm. Actually, this place is pretty cool. Maybe I should take a look around. Ooh, this is very futuristic. I've got to say, I love the colour scheme. I like... Like... Black elect like black technology and the white floor really matches up actually. How much will it cost for me to rent this place? I don't wanna rent it. I can't even get to the TV though. Okay, sorry, not moving in. Can't get to the TV. No, not acceptable. Is there anything we can interact with here? Wait a minute. Oh, is this one of the oh is this one of the dogs they dedicated the game to? Oh my goodness, look at this cute little dog. It's such a cute little thing. Looks so innocent while it sleeps. Wait a second, this dog has wings? I've never seen anything like it. You know what? I should leave it alone. Don't want to wake it up. That's so cute. That's so cute. Uh, what about, is this bloody mystery? How are you still alive? Oh. Wait a minute. Hey, it's Sis from Jen and Sis. What's she doing here? I'm sound asleep. Better not wake her. Oh look, it's a crazy mirror. Thank goodness it's asleep. Hmm. I don't think it's cute anymore. 
Especially after it attacked me. I don't know. Still, it's kind of cute though. Okay, can I go? Can I look at anything else? Can I go through this door? Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh, okay, I can go through this door. Ooh. Under construction. I wonder what they're building over here. What's he building in there? This is another pupper. It's another pupper with wings. Oh, this dog has wings. This is truly incredible. I really have seen it all. Well, I, I mean, yes. Yes, I guess. If you look at everything in the basement, you've seen it all. Looks like someone's up there. I better go talk to them. See what the hell's going on. Why does it feel like someone's staring at me? Um, what the? Who the heck are you? How did you get in here? Don't make me press the panic button. You really don't want me to press the panic button. So, be quick. Um, I'm, uh... A Khan Ramazade? I'm really sorry to intrude, but I was given this card key and it brought me here. Card key? She couldn't possibly be talking about. Sis! Hmm? Huh. What's up, Chad? Why are you yelling? Just get over here before I do more than just yell at you. Can I, you may want to stand over there. This could get ugly. Uh, yeah, of course. If she doesn't play around, I'm just gonna toddle off over here and let them get on with it. Mm. Um, who are you? Yes, that was the same question I asked when I saw her. But I will get to introductions later. Just have a simple question. Yeah, sure. What is it? Uh, may I have the card key that I gave you after the interview? Uh, yeah, the card key... Well, um... Uh, uh... Um... Crap. I forgot I totally lost it. I'm waiting! <laughs> Probably Jake has it or something. You know how he likes taking my stuff. Ah, oh, Jake has it, huh? Dog's like, uh, no, I don't. Uh, Miss Amazade, would you please tell her how you got here? Uh, I was given this card key and it teleported me here, and I feel like I'm really in the middle of an argument I shouldn't be in the middle of right now. Uh, is that right? Jen is so going to kill me. I'm so going to kill her. I can't believe you lost the card key. This place is supposed to be a secret. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me. Have mercy on my little soul. But I don't even have the energy to deal with you right now. Just move over so I can talk to Akana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, welcome to the Genesis Secret Studio. This is where we make our games. Um, since you're here already, you can take a look around. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to see our future projects or anything about Voices of Friendship, you can take a look at my computer. Don't touch none of my snacks, though. Whenever you're done here, just go to the blue teleporter in the front room. But I'm going to have to take that card key back. We can't just have anyone coming in here. Alright, there we go. Thank you. Hope you have fun looking around. Uh, yeah, have fun. I'm going back to bed. Doodles. Cool. Ooh. Oh, look at this stuff. Secret stuff. Wow, look at all that information. I wonder what it's about. Um, I can't have you reading any of that. That information's uh, classified. I can't even read a little of it. Pretty please? Sure, read it all you like then. Oh, that was easy. I wish real life was that easy. But after you're done, we'd have to kill you. Oh, okay, maybe not then. Oh, well, I'll pass. Gallery. Oh, this stuff's locked. Oh, so it's like the menus and stuff. That's pretty cool. How do I... How do I... Skip pages? Uh, oh, well, it's at the top. It says W. Damn, idiot. Oh, cool. Different designs. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I love this. Oh, they really did change Marie's design, didn't they? Oh, my word. Oh god, 
pimp went through some transfer. Oh, the before pimp is so huggable. Oh, now you even unlock these. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, a password, huh? RPG Maker VX Ace Manual? What the heck is RPG Maker? Um, don't worry about it. Hmm, wonder what this is. Please don't touch that. I just printed out our next game ideas on it. I don't want anything getting leaked. Oh, sorry. Don't need Assange getting his fingers on that stuff. This is pretty neat. Looks like someone programmed a map of a town. Uh, what the? It, it's the rabbit from my dream. What's it doing here? Hey, little guy, do you remember me? Hey, can you hear me? Hmm, wonder why he's not talking to me anymore. Um, it's because, oh, I'm gonna maul this name. I'm ap uh, apologies in advance. It's either Biffiné. Biffiné? I'm gonna say Biffiné. <laughs> Can't talk. Biffiné? Oh, Buffoné. Thank you for the phonetic spelling of it to make me look a little bit less stupid. Buffoon eh? Wait, you know this rabbit too? Huh, <laughs> guess you could say that. I'm Buffoon eh's owner. Oh, wow. What a small world we live in. Really? But never mind, I can't eh? Just keep letting it go over your head. Wow, what's this? Some kind of fancy antenna? Ah, uh, that's just our router. Can't be having messed up internet while we're working on our games. Can I borrow that router sometime? It looks awesome. These notebooks are full of writing. If I try to read all this, I'll be here forever. What's this fancy schmancy piece of kit? So many buttons. Wonder what would happen if I pressed one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna make that mistake. Don't even think about it. Unless you want to lose a hand. Well, the urge to put this to the button has quickly and surprisingly dissipated. Uh-huh. Sure it did. Bottles of aloe juice. And they're all empty. Uh, a whole bunch of boxes of snacks sitting on the ground. Let's not eat any. Let's listen to what we were told. Let's be good. I've eaten pizza. There's a sticky note that says, Don't touch my pizza. Love, sis. Guess sis doesn't play about with people touching her food. Yeah, she loves her food. Even though Jake always finds a way to steal most of it. Hmm, this bookshelf is filled with books and loose papers. Hmm, there's a copy of A Kind of Gonna Die sitting on the bookshelf. Girl really is raking in the cash from that book, isn't he? Still can't believe that he published that book. Sis was the first in line to get that book. Said it was inspiring. She really loves the hand-drawn pictures as well. Oh, goodness. Well, guess I can't get too mad if people actually like the book. Still messed up, though. Hmm, looks like a control panel to work the screen on the wall. Shouldn't touch anything, though. Don't want to break it. What about this computer? Oh, this is another one. Future Genesis games. Oh, check it out. Divine Blessing. <sighs> Can a girl that has nothing save a world from destruction? You will be the judge of that. Help. I Ooh, Eily? 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 Oh, gosh. <laughs> Since her friends fight back the darkness that will cover Lura before there is nothing left. Oh, that sounds nice. What else is in here? The colourful life? In the, Oh, my word. In a place called Noanamora, there lived a girl by the name of Abby. Abby enjoyed her life, but everything changed in an instant on one fateful day. Will Abby be able to get back to her comfortable and happy life, or will she die trying? Love it. Love it. And I knew they'd mentioned this one, that they wanted to do Voices of Friendship too. Visions from the inside. The Voices of Friendship saga continues as we go into the mind of the beloved Bon. What are the origins of this mysterious maid? What made her so possessive of her Iblis? The story will continue, but only if you let it. Yeah, they, they did a vote. It's great reviews. We feel this game has a good story. We'll continue. The choice is yours. It was great. Please do make the second game. I'd love to know more about Bon and the him that she was talking about in the journal. Character bios. Tuh. AKA Nana. And stupid. Yeah, I, I probably... Arcana Amazad. Hey, I was pronouncing it right. Yes. Strawberry cake. Mm. 
received a full-ride scholarship for college after she graduated high school, has been studying hard to stay on top of her class. Due to Bond's curse, she never had any idea that her best friend, Iblis Nakoa, even existed. Her friend, Ling, contacted her about hearing rumours about Iblis and urged her to check up on Iblis. After the call was made, horrible things started happening to Akana, but she managed to always pull through and went to Iblis herself. We, we know this. Yep, we knew that. Iblis, not Iblis. Ah, it's Iblis. Iblis Nakoa. Well, at least I got the second name right. Ibby's better anyway. <laughs> Shrimp curry. Mm, no, thank you. Don't think I'll be sharing a meal with you anytime, maybe. Uh, Ibris never got the chance to make friends because she constantly moved due to her parents demanding jobs, but it seemed like when she tried, kids would just end up making fun of her. When her parents decided to finally settle down in one place, she made her first friend account, Ramazade, while a dickhead. Dead that we know this too. In the first minute, the judge, the banishment, sorry, yeah, well, it's basically the story of the game. What to say about Laling? Ah, Laling. I was saying Le. It's La. Laling. Laling a soul. It kind of cuts off. Anyway, I think I was doing okay with that name, actually. Mmm, being her close friend. Spunky personality, makes fun of Karen all the time. She does care about her friends dearly. Yep, yeah, got that feeling. I was running the kind of nibbles in the park. You know, Laling nibbles was in the course. She always did like her company. This is kind of cool to see. I guess Bon Gurmery. How many is there? I guess we'll have a quick flick through all of them and just have a quick look because it'll be interesting to see. Bone. Bon, Bon, Bon. It is Bon, isn't it? Bon. Okay. Peach Crips. Oh. Oh, Bon. I could sit and eat breakfast with you if you weren't such a psychopath slash already dead. Yeah, they just got a strange book. It's so fast about that team. Yeah. Yeah. This is all stuff that we know. I'm sorry I seem to be flying through it a little bit, but I just want to... Hey there, girl. <laughs> oh, he likes poops all day. Of course he does. Parents give good. I fell in love with her, so I had to call her mama when I came with this. I'm just... It's just duty. Her duty. Did girl write this? I think girl wrote this. He knows why it's all somewhere else. He's extremely intelligent. He's always there to let a cannon know when there is danger ahead. Lastly, he has a secretly has a crush on Bon. He likes bad girls, which is why he had the secret crush on Bon. Mm. Mm, Marie, strange, strange child. Not much is known about Marie. Well, what we won't tell you. <laughs> the kind of first comes Marie in Ibis' dining room, where she threatens that she will never get Ibis back, and she will surely dry, dry, die trying to find her. Well, Marie tries to get in her way, yeah. Marie's very loyal to Bond, but it's unknown why she is helping Bond to capture Iblis, because Marie dislikes Iblis greatly. It's also unknown why the Kindren has her name in the roster, because she can't stand being around them for too long. Right. She's full of secrets and she wants to keep it that way. Yeah, that sounds about right, too. What about Mr. and Mr. Nokoa? Mmm, teriyaki salmon. <laughs> They came across a deserted tomb that housed an ancient book. Ah, oh, how the best horror movies all start, isn't it? No reason to bring his work home, but he's really eager always new find one to study it further in his library. Of course he did. Yep. That's right for Rosalind came to talk to him about cheering him so, uh, but I'd take his life sack when he sold the gag. Yep. I hope they got some peace when Bond was dealt with, you know? Oh, uh, she likes tamales. Hot tamale. Sadly, Bond stored her body in a well that she created so no one was able to find her and also look at her as a trophy of accomplishment. Oh, she always wanted to have more children, but after Iblis was born, she had complications that made her not able to have any more. Oh, that was a nice little bit of information that we didn't. I say nice, it wasn't nice. It was an interesting piece of information that we didn't have. Well, I haven't got any passcodes or passwords yet, but I believe I need to go and bug sis until she wakes up that's how it works apparently so i'm just gonna um sis i have a question man she's sound asleep this man i really wish you would wake up and um, sis please wake up i have something to ask you hmm she's still not waking up sis wake up I really need to ask you something. Wow, I didn't think she was such a heavy sleeper. 
Why didn't you think that? It's obvious that she is. Come on, sis, wake up. Oh, I really wish you would just wake up already. Hmm. I don't want to be rude, but it seems to work when Jen does it. Sis! Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. I just screamed in your ear, but I didn't mean to, apparently. I was just wondering if there's anything else here that I should know about. <sighs> so, what do you want again? Is there anything else here I should know about? I mean, this place is so cool. I want to make sure I see everything before I leave. Um, I mean, there is one thing I could show you. Really? What is it? But I mean, if Jen found out, she would totally rip me to shreds. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. Oh, what the heck? You only live once. Well, except you, can't you? You live far more than once. Come on, I'll show it to you. Oh, awesome. Can't wait. We have to be sneaky. We don't want Jen to be onto us. Okay. We are being sneaky, la la la. We're not doing anything suspicious, la 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 la. Was that sneaky enough? Okay, all I have to do is put in that super secret wrong code we made. Hey, you can't look. I said it was a super secret code. Was that not a good enough hint? Oh, uh, my bad. Man, that's longer than my passwords, and I like to think that they're pretty long. Oh, there we go. Jeez, oh, finally. That password is painfully long. Sis? What are you doing over there? Uh, um, no, nothing. Just showing our guests some uh, funny cat videos. Okay, enjoy. Uh, funny cat videos. Holy table scraps, that was close. Is it really that bad? You look like you were about to have a heart attack when she called you. What I'm about to show you is beyond bad. It's horrifying. What is this? This is the very first version of the game that Jen created. Only Jen and I have seen this copy. No one else. Wow, I feel honored. I do feel honored to see this. Do you want to play it? Really? I'd love to. Okay, well, you better be quick. Because I'm telling you, if Jen finds out, no one will be spared. I wonder who is at the door at this hour. I think I see something at the door. I better check it out. Oh, Kanji. I miss you, Kanji. How are you doing, Budski? Total video game nerd, and I'm proud of it. Look at my teddy bear. And my bed. This apartment seems a lot more calm as pace. Ooh, there's a note at the door. A letter? I wonder who it's from. Dear Akana, it has been a long time since we've spoken. I would love for you to come to my parents' house so we can catch up and reminisce about all the fun times we used to have as kids. Remember what we used to say? We are best friends forever. No matter what, I hope you can come. It would make me so happy. Your bestest friend, Iblis Nakoa. That was the note that didn't get delivered in the end, though, didn't it? It had returned a sender on it. I haven't seen her since we graduated high school. I feel really bad that I haven't kept up with her. She was only my best friend, and after we graduated, I stopped talking to her. Please come. I must be sleepy because I swear I just heard someone talking. You have to come see me, Akana. Oh, my head hurts. Time for bed. I. That's pretty cool music. I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that this video is now stupidly long, so I'm gonna just stop. But, but uh, this is interesting to see. But I'm gonna have to stop because my word, this is such a long. Whoa, the house had a shrinkage. Oh my gosh, is this what Bond used to look like? Oh my goodness! Wow. Face creams, oh jeez. Any, anywho, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I do want to go through the whole thing, but this video is stupidly long now. Um, I just want to say it again, I've got to say it. Thank you, Jen and Sis, for just being the, the bestest. They've been so good with the communication, they've been so awesome to talk to back and forth. 
they snuck me in at the end of the... I mean, and this is maybe just my version of the game that's got me in it, but that's pretty fun. Either way, I really like that. That was pretty... That was pretty darn awesome. <laughs> but well, I've had such a good time playing this game, and yes, definitely make a sequel, and yes, I'm super looking forward to those other two games that got teased there, so so much to look forward to from Genesis in the future. But for now, this is the end of Voices of Friendship, uh, and... This whole chapter, I'm just going to miss it. It's going to be weird not playing it. Now that it's all done, but going to move on, I suppose, and we'll, we'll be playing more of their games in the future for sure. Okay, final time, I want to say this. The link to the game is in the description below, so if you still haven't played it yourselves, now's as good a time as any, so we can help there and get it done. But don't forget to want the like button again if you have enjoyed this entire playthrough and the true ending and the little secrets at the end and all of my waffling that I've done and all of the useless nonsense I've talked about that I didn't need to talk about. And what the subscribe button too if you appreciated all that as well and want to pop back and see the other stuff that I play. I have been Mikey Bly and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening or night. <laughs> Burp. I know I already did my ending thing, but I, I didn't realise we were actually going to come back to the house. So I just want to see you final wrap up here. I should get inside and help him with dinner. I forgot that there was probably going to be a little bit more of this, right? There's Kanji. Chilling out. Oh, I'm not surprised. Kanji's always asleep. Rest well, buddy. He's a sleepy boy. He's a big sleepy tired boy. Oh. Oh look, can we even acknowledge that the cat's up there? No? Okay, that's fine. Fishies! Yeah, but the seedlings. They look really healthy. I must say, she really has a way with plants. Oh man, there's so much more to explore than I thought. This is Iblis's cookbook. She's always experimenting with food, but it always turns out great. I like my food. I should definitely just leave the cooking to Ibby and Liling. Hey Ibby, need help with the stew? Promise not to burn anything this time, maybe. Um, Ibby, you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just lost in my thoughts for a minute. Uh, okay. So, do you need any help? Help? Help with what? Um, with the stew that you're currently in the middle of making. Stew? You seem a little off. Are you sure you're okay? Uh -huh. I didn't see that. Oh, kinda. I've never felt better. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no, no! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, I'm glad I dipped back in briefly just to do that. Okay, now we're outies. Catch you all later. <laughs> oh, what a way to end it.